And now, it's time for Southern California's Sports Fishing Voice. Let's talk hook up. For the next two hours, join Pete Gray, Rock Cod Rick Maxa, Corey Sandin, and this week's special expert guest for fishing information, new techniques to catch more fish, and the most current scoop on what's happening in the water. Let's Talk Hookup is sponsored in part by Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hookup, and Shimano Rods and Reels, fish with the best. Shimano, get ready for the fastest two hours on radio with the hosts of Let's Talk Hookup, Pete Gray, Rock Cod Rick Mexa, and Corey Sandin. Good morning, anglers, and welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. I'm Pete Gray with Rock Cod Rick Mexa. We're in the world headquarters of Let's Talk Hookup here right next to a very busy Fisherman's Landing this morning in San Diego. And we've got, speaking of Fisherman's Landing, we have Doug Kern here from Fisherman's Landing Tackle. There's something going on. Saturday, next Saturday. I, 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 we'll tell, talk to you about it. Something called Tackle Day. And we're going to talk a lot about that. You stay tuned. This is Southern California Sport Fishing Voice. Voice, it's Let's Talk Hook Up on the Let's Talk Hook Up app and the Mightier 1090 ESPN Radio. Inside information is everything when it comes to catching fish in Southern California. You need a code group to connect with what's happening on the water. Fishdope.com is your code group. Inside information available at your fingertips seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Fishdope.com really does help you catch more fish and burn less fuel. Fishdope.com is the only fish finding service with a spotter plane, along with a crew of top anglers on the water almost every day that report actual locations and catches. They become your code group. You get daily catch reports from Point Conception to San Catine, 365 days a year. Fishdope.com has online planning tools, temperature and chlorophyll charts, hot bite icons, and more. Take it from me, if you don't have fishdope.com, you're not part of the in the know crowd. Membership is affordable and good for an entire year. Plus, use the special code to save $20 on a new fishdope.com membership. Check it out today. Fishdope.com. Catch more fish, burn less fuel. Saturday, November 4th, it's Tackle Day at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego, and it's our largest sale ever. Plenty of seminars by saltwater experts and over 20 reps from tackle manufacturers like Seaguar, United Composites, Power Pro, Shimano, and Olakai. Don't miss all the great seminars, the huge raffle to benefit Rollo Kids, the popular casting contest, and of course, the huge sale. For the best ever tackle bargains, check out Tackle Day at Fisherman's Landing, Saturday, November 4th. In San Diego, the future belongs to everyone. So Ford engineered the truck of the future for everyone. The Ford F-150. Available with a Pro Power onboard generator. What a great addition for anglers. There's also a variety of cab configurations for whatever you need to haul. The truck of the future isn't created for just a few. It's created for us who love the ocean and the outdoor life. Ford F-150. Test drive one at your local San Diego County Ford dealer today. They'll be glad to hook you up. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup. Today is the day talking about the big day, tackle day, and we got Doug Kerr, man. Today's going to be a fun one. Yeah, it is. Good morning, Doug. Good morning, and how can it have already been a year I since know. we did this? Seriously. We sat right here looking out at long range boats unloading, talking about tackle day, and it's less than a week away. Yeah. And, um, it looks like we've got the weatherman on our side, so probably jinxed it there a little bit. But um, I don't think so. It looks pretty, <laughs> but pretty it looks darn like good. Uh, on both sides of it, there's not a lot of threat. So yeah. anyway, um, we've been uh, feverishly uh, like the ant hill, getting things ready in the tackle store, and uh, you know we're here today to talk about it. I'm, I'm pretty stoked. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you typically come in. Of course, we're going to be doing a live broadcast, one of our rare uh, live broadcasts, which we do very few of these days uh, at. Tackle Day, uh, Engineer Bill will be coming in and uh, yep. setting things up, and uh, Rick and I will be there uh, broadcasting live with a host of great people who show up at the event. Uh, but generally speaking, Doug, when you do this show, you kind of leak a little bit of the stuff out. Well, we're, we're not just going to leak it. We're going to tell you everything. No, <laughs> come on. Really? You're going to give it up? Well, uh, the list actually is so long of specials, we probably won't get to everything, but um, we're going to definitely hit the highlights. I think, 
You know, this is our 20th annual. Come on, really? Yeah, can it's you believe that? Believe. 20 years, dude. <laughs> oh, 20. Bro. I don't feel old enough to no. say I did this 20 years ago, you know? Yeah, I, I feel old. I, <laughs> you just feel old because you've been pulling on Yellow Fin for the yeah, last week. Yeah, that's right, yeah. But so I think a lot of the people kind of know what Tackle Day is all about. We have seminars going on in the parking lot, and Mike Lum comes down. We do a, a Rollo a booth with all kinds of great promotions. Huge and, fundraiser for Rollo. Yeah, it is. And um, Mike does such a great job. And so there's lots of fun stuff there, and we have a, a big raffle that, uh, in part, uh, we've, we fund uh, Rollo with that as well. We have uh, roughly about 23, I think it is now, vendors coming wow. into the parking lot. Um, we've got uh, the 20. casting contest. Um, so there's plenty to do. And so I think everybody by now that's been here kind of knows the drill. So, but, 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 but. Something new? This year is, we say it every year because we try to improve it every year. This is going to be our, our biggest and best. Um, so through the entire COVID era, manufacturers couldn't supply us with stuff. So we became tackle hoarders. And we filled. <laughs> we did, man. We have st- five storage units. We have our tackle store, back, back rooms, drawers. We have 100 drawers. We filled everything up, storage bins all over the, you know, up to the roof, literally up to the rafters. It was our um, goal during the time when nobody had anything to always be the place that still had it. And and you did. And we did. Yeah, we pulled it off. It was it was through Doug and a tremendous amount of buying that we that we did that. And, And we kind of, you know, we had our set stuff that we that we carried. Um, but let's say knife jigs. You know, we carried maybe two brands of knife jigs. Well, we, we bumped it up to like six or seven brands of knife jigs so that if this one ran out, we still had something to catch a you know 200-pound bluefin on. Same thing with rail rods. Same thing with reels. Spinning reels, we only carried Shimano. We had to you know branch out a little bit to make sure that we had a spinning reel of some sort and some high quality to sell somebody. Well, the supply chain issue has kind of resolved itself. took three years. And so we are literally going to, <laughs> I don't want to use the word dump, but we are going to flood tackle day. You're going to open, with, the, open yeah. the gate. We're opening We're the flood gate. We're going to flush it back out, man. Like. <laughs> so we've you know, gone back. Storage so units are expensive. You yes, get they are. <laughs> yeah. So we've gone back up to our 15% off on rods. We, we weren't giving discounts on some brands of rods because you couldn't get them. And. And, um, you know, there's uh, a few reels that we have that we aren't going to be carrying anymore. 25% off on some of that stuff. 25% off, off reels? Off, like, first run, high end. Like, that <laughs> reel is in the showcase right now for full price. And then next Saturday, that same reel will be 25% off. Just that day, though. Yes. Yeah, just, just, just that, a one-day day. sale. Yeah. And then... Uh, um, you know, so we and we've got. I, I had to buy like fifty yellow bins uh, to put all the stuff outside, and we've got knife jigs and great quality hooks and you know stuff that you would take out bluefin fishing tomorrow. Okay, typically, hooks are buy two get one free. Is that the same deal? So. The you know the, uh, most of the hooks are buy two get one free. Everything hanging on the wall in the tackle store, every single hook we have, buy two get one free. But outside, outside, buy two get one free. We have some hooks that we got overstocked on, or we had to buy you know an, another brand, and so a hook pack that might have gone for seventeen ninety five is me like three ninety nine. What? So yes. there were times again, and it, it is it's no fault of their own. It's just the world that we were in. But there was times when you couldn't get a number two Gamakatsu Nautilus. You just couldn't get it. The right. demand was too high. They bought every every one they had. They sold. You couldn't get it. So we would go out and source another high end hook. But it wouldn't be something that was normally part of our inventory. But we had to make sure that it was available for the customer. Well, now that Gamakatsu is in full supply, those hooks that we went out and sourced are now. I mean, which are still a very high end hook. We're just going to hook up the customer and basically just get our money back out of it. Holy mackerel! And it's going to be—it's going to be insane. We're going to continue yeah. to carry that brand of hooks, but we just thinned it out. Like you know, right. took yeah. two thirds of it, put it in a yellow bin, marked it three ninety nine. And it's going to be so good. You know, dude. And, and like um, Salus jigs, obviously first run yo yo jig. Yeah, we've been carrying you know six X's and six X juniors and CP one hundred five. Well, for whatever reason. The you know the six X and the six X Junior sell better than the CP one hundred five, so 
uh, a thirteen dollar jig is going to go for four bucks. So oh. it catches the yellowtail what? just the same. Yeah, yeah. it's just caught- so a six. My favorite jig that I caught a yellowtail on the Shogun on. Yes. six X Junior. Is- yes. How much? They're like thirteen bucks. And and now they're going to be no a very similar jig that catches the yellowtail just as well. It's the called the CP one hundred and five. CP one hundred and five. We threw them in a yellow bin. You okay. guys got to come down and I see the it. yellow bin. And how much is the yellow? And how much is that jig? It's like in the four yellow bucks. Bin? Four bucks. A CP one hundred and five. It's actually a really cool lure. Like a CP one hundred and five is about the same length as a six X Junior. It's another sal. It's just another Salas yo yo jig. It's about the same length, maybe a teeny bit longer, but it's a little bit taller. And it's actually got edges. Like, almost imagine you took a 6X Junior and a Taddy 45 and you, like, smooshed them together. <laughs> it's a, a CP105. It's kind of got edges and shapes like a, like a, like a jig, you know, would, but to, in the size and weight, maybe a teeny bit bigger than a 6X Junior. It's wow. awesome. It's a really it's good jig. It's like it's, but it's not a, it's not the one. It's not yeah. a 6X Junior. But and, it's, Pretty much identical. when it comes it's to a yo-yo fan, jig, it's yeah, pretty it's much the same thing, right? Yes. So, but what if? What if? What if? I wanted a Salas Six X Junior. Well, those are buy two get one free. Oh come on! Yeah, across so, the board. Yeah. So that's thirty-three so that's percent, off. percent off. Yeah. So yeah, I and mean, that's not even the cra- that's not the crazy deal. That's just the good deal. That's, you that's know, like, good deal. <laughs> that's the regular deal. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> it's going to wow. be the big- biggest one we've ever yeah. done. So. For those of our listeners that aren't familiar with Tackle Day, it's a one-day event. It's not just tackle sale. But tell us first about the Shimano casting contest because that's always fun. Yep, yeah. that's um, that's our, our signature fun thing to do. So, you know, we obviously have our main pier, and then we've got lanes uh, going both directions where the uh, boat's back into. And uh, so Shimano sponsors a uh, surface iron casting contest. Let's face it. Southern California, especially San Diego, surface iron fishing is the staple way to catch a yellowtail, and, and now tuna bite the surface iron and and all kinds of stuff. Sure. So, uh, the San Diego Anglers Club and the San Diego Anglers Foundation come down; they run it for us, and then um, uh, there will be prizes. So, whoever does the longest cast is going to win a Tranks 500. It's a 500 dollars reel. Uh, second prize is going to be a, a nine-foot jig stick, uh, Terramar, Shimano Terramar. Wow. Uh, third prize, we have a six-pack of hand-picked Fisherman's Landing Tackle, hand-picked surface irons. And then we have the, the ladies' winner is going to win a Terramar rod, and the junior angler is going to win a Terramar rod. Wow. So Isn't that cool? Great, great uh, prizes. It's free. Uh, you do one practice cast that doesn't count for anything. Just get the lay of the land, and then you get two casts to try to make your bomber. Your longest cast is recorded. And then if you should want to do, you know, you kind of backlash or something, you want to do it again, you can go to the back of the line two different times, make a $10 donation to Rollo, and you can do it again. We're not going to let nice. people do 50 times until they get their, but you, you know. But you get two, two extras. But you can do two extras. For 10 So bucks you're making, you know, a 10 Rollo, or, yeah. 10 or a $20 yeah. uh, donation to Rollo. So. Nice. So that is that's cool. Uh, people, and then, but the first cast is free. Like, where the yeah. where the first round is just nothing, just for coming and yeah, hanging just out. Just coming, them, totally. Yeah. And we've got our lunch table staged up right, so you can watch the casting contest. And <laughs> so there's heckling, and is there going to be food? Um, oh yeah, um, El Royo, right? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. They, I think everybody knows about them by now. That's come to tackle day. The best tacos oh, I have ever eaten. I. I, what? I'm a two taco guy. I always eat four. <laughs> so way, way, way back in the early days of Tackle Days, we used to always have Mitch from Mitch's Seafood would like cater it, and then they got they got too busy, and then in typical California stuff, it like became difficult with health department to have a setup on the sidewalk, but also at the restaurant. And and he just said, hey, you know what? One of my old, you know, one of my chefs from forever just went on his own and is doing his own taco thing. But that's what he does is outside events. You should look into hiring him. And uh, I mean, we have never looked back. I mean, it was we we had a blast. Mitch always took such good care of us, and we had tons of fun with that. And and it was with that recommendation that he's been, you know, the tacos are. Oro guy's been doing it, I think, for 15 years now. Wow. Like, it's just, it's spectacular. And the whole time that you're like going through the parking lot, 
checking out the vendors, it's just like you can smell everything cooking like live. It's dude, it's so good. Ah, <laughs> it's really yeah. fun. It's just it's it's such a fun day. Um, you know, the store opens at six in the morning. The hardcore discount shoppers come in and start you know buying their rods and reels and jigs and line. And I mean. You know, fluorocarbon, buy one, get one free. And, all fluorocarbon. <laughs> Cigar, uh, gold. Cigar, all colors, and uh, Psycho, AFCO. AFCO, too. Yeah, those two are the Buy ones. two, get one free. Buy one, get one free. Whoa, whoa. Yes. Buy dude. one, <laughs> get one free. And that includes any line from six-pound test up to 80-pound test. When you get into the bigger skeins. So half price. Yes. When you get into the bigger skeins of like 100 that, through that 300, out, yeah. that'll be buy two, get one free for the heavy stuff. So, so like, uh, like 100 plus. 100, yeah. 100 to 300 or 100 to 400, whatever the, the real big ones are, yeah. that's buy two, get one. But all of the, well, I mean, yeah, let's not, yeah, yes, that's buy two, get one free. That's an insane 30 deal. 30-pound, 40-pound, buy one, get but one. But all of the yeah, main of, sizes, yeah. buy one, get one free. And Jeez. then while supplies last, um, they have given us these cool litter, little leader holders uh, some people may have seen them. They're like a, a blue color, and it, uh, they hold three spools. So when you buy three spools of cigar fluorocarbon, you get one of these leader keepers free. It, so if you buy three, you're going to get six. Correct. And a leader, and ke- a leader, and a leader keeper. Yeah, and if yeah. you ask real nice, maybe if you buy two and get four, you know, Especially Brandon. Ask Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon. Yeah. Brandon's a softie. He's a softie. Yeah. He'll do anything for the sale. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's such a great event and so much fun. Now, uh, vendors, I, you know, kind of like, give us a list of the vendors. I, I know okay. I know the guys from Coastal will be there. Who's will be there? Yep. Uh, showing I mean, off Coastal sunglasses. Obviously, Shimano's going to be here. Shimano will be there. But I'm, I'm, Power Pro. I'm just going to read the list because I don't want to leave anybody out. And right, it's such a, a who's who of the saltwater. And it, it is alphabetical. So uh, accurate, AFTCO, Batson, CalSTAR, Costa, Daiwa. And Daiwa is doing free reel repair yeah. if you bring a reel down for what? any fifty dollar or higher Daiwa purchase. Wow! Right in the parking lot. You think we're going to see Mark Mills? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got Fishworks, Gamakatsu, Graph Tech, Iser, and they're going to be doing the knot tying contest again. We're giving away uh, Pen Fathom Forty uh, for the the best um, knot strength uh, breakage. Um, it's free. Another total freebie. Um, wow. We are going to, you know, we're leaving it out there. If you want to make a donation to Rollo at the knot tying contest, um, we'd, it'd be appreciated, but it's totally not, not, not required. Um, and then we've got Corey from MC Bates, Mustad, Olakai is going to be out there, Owner, Penn, Phoenix, Power Pro, of course, Salty Crew, Seagar, the big Shimano, of course, um, West Coast Jiggers, and then one cool tuna is going to be out there, and uh, he's going to be ringing jigs. If you have old jigs that have rusty hooks, he's going to be r- ringing those. And uh, Rick, I think you might have talked to him about: um, th- is there a requirement for that? So, if you make, if you just make a purchase at, at Tackle Day, um, and you have some old jigs, and you want to get re, uh, re- so any any purchase at Tackle Day of twenty five dollars or more, or any OCT purchase. Or just making a five dollar donation to Rollo, um, any of those three things. So if you spend twenty five bucks, if you buy any OCT product, or if you just spend five dollar, if you just donate five dollars to friends of Rollo, he will uh, re re hook or re ring your jig, whatever it takes, uh, free of charge. He's gonna buy your hook for you. He's gonna, gonna pay. I was gonna say, who's yeah. paying for the? Yeah, no, he's buying the hook, he, he's buying the hook no, he's for you. He's hooking people up. He's paying. No, uh, no yeah. 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 Um and uh, and he because. He really was hoping for people to really utilize this. Uh, for every customer that he has, he's going to donate two dollars to Rollo. So wow, so Jeff is a cool yeah. Guy. So forty he guys, is one cool tuna. If 40 guys, he is one cool yeah. tuna. <laughs> if, yeah, if, if fifty guys come through, he's going to throw a hundred bucks to, to Rollo. So every customer he has that utilizes that, he's going to throw two bucks back. And but yeah, up to three lures of any kind. It doesn't wow. have to be an OCT. If you've got a, a favorite seven X and a forty five and an OCT that all you know have got the hooks chewed up, bring them down. He's going to put new hooks on for you. So. 
Uh, you mentioned CalStar. Yes. And CalStar, of course, during the pandemic has been tough to get. Big yep. time. They're starting to get uh, more in stock. So are there going to be deals on CalStar? Is that CalStar yep. never goes on sale. 15% off all CalStar rods. What? And we have a bunch right and, now. Wow. I, I wouldn't say a bunch, but we've been getting maybe... For the last three or four months, we get five to ten rods a week, and then of course we sell some. Yeah. yeah. But um, over the summer, our inventory built from less than twenty rods to well over a couple hundred rods. Oh wow! Which is starting to feel like back to normal levels, and there may be a, a model number that we haven't gotten back in yet. I mean, we have orders still coming in from purchase orders from two years ago. So they're they're still not a hundred percent readily available, but they are producing rods every week and sending rods out every week now. Wow, fantastic! Well, as you can hear, we have a great show lined up for you today. A lot to talk about, a lot of questions. Don't forget your tackle questions for the guru Doug Kern here and more. This is going to be a fun show. You're not kidding, and like you, I mean, you nailed it exactly, Pete. I mean, this isn't only tackle day. Obviously, that's so much of the fun. But you know, getting to have Doug in here is about my favorite show. You want to talk about a guy that knows the right deal on the gear? It is Doug for sure. Matching combos and all that kind of stuff. It's a fantastic show. With Doug, and we're looking forward to talking to you. If you want to join us this morning, give us a call at 213 432 1090. Again, 213 432 1090 is how you reach us here on Let's Talk Hook Up, or send us a text. We've already got a bunch of great texts flowing through. People know the drill because those texts have been rolling through since the second the mics kicked on. If you're not familiar, the only way you can send in a text message to the show is through the Let's Talk Hook Up app. It's a free download, it's easy to get. Anywhere you can find your app, just search. Let's Talk Hookup. Once you download it, not only can you send in your text to Doug, but you can also listen to past shows, archive shows. You can listen to live shows. You can call the show from the app. Uh, Adam does a, such a great job with the, with the app and a lot of fun. And again, the only way to text in your questions to the show. And we are giving away a killer prize today. So with that, when you do send a text message in, make sure you include your contact info. We say it every week, but I can't tell you how often we'll get a text message that doesn't have a, a name or a phone number and, and it might be a great question and boy if that has the case you're just not eligible to win that killer prize and what a prize it is today as one lucky caller or texter is going to win a $50 gift card to Fisherman's Landing Tackle along with a 2024 Bill Varney CCA calendar and that gift card absolutely is valid at Tackle Day if you want to come down which is really wow. going to stretch that 50 bucks out. Yeah that is for sure. Well, as you can hear it's a great show with Doug if you stay tuned you're listening in the Southern California Sport Fishing Voice. This is Let's Talk Hookup on the Let's Talk Hookup app and the Mightier 1090 ESPN Radio. Here's John Ireland for Rancho Leonero. The ranch is small, you know. It's very personal, very intimate. I don't think there's anywhere else that you could have the old Baja feel and have all the miles of beachfront, the palapa roofs and the stone walls. There's not a room that you don't have some kind of ocean view. You don't give up any amenities at the ranch. It's just very rustic. You know how when you cook outdoors it tastes better? Well, that's Rancho Leonero. It just tastes better. We have paddle boards. We've got kayaks. We've We've got snorkeling equipment, of course. We've got 12 super pongas. We have dive trips. We've got over 40 kayaks at the hotel. We've got all accurate equipment, very top of the line. And um, when the fishing's good, we'll freeze your fish, pack it all up, send it home with you. People love it. They'll come back five, six times a year. That's the highest accolade we can get. 1-800-646-2252. 646-Baja. And RanchoLandArrow.com. It's unique. Hey, this is Rosie with Cedro Sport Fishing. We have always been the leader in fishing trips to Cedros Island. We have set the bar even higher with our second lodge opening for the 2022 season. Side-by-side lodges sitting on the cliff's edge with relaxing ocean views. With direct flights departing through the CBX in San Diego, we are committed to providing first-class service to our guests and an unforgettable fishing experience. Come check out the Yellowtail and Calico Bass Capital in the world. Nobody does it better than Cedro Sport Fishing. Call me at 619-772-7570 or check us out at cedrosportfishing.com. Saturday, November 4th, it's Tackle Day at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego. And it's our largest sale ever. Plenty of seminars by saltwater experts, over 20 reps from tackle manufacturers like Shimano. Come check out the new Shimano Talica A, the pinnacle of lever drag two-speed reels. The Talica features Shimano's Hagani body to prevent misalignment of moving parts under the heaviest loads. When throwing jigs, the Shimano Trinidad is your top choice. For the best ever tackle bargains, check out Tackle Day at Fisherman's Landing, Saturday, November 4th. 
Filet knives shouldn't be disposable. Introducing Aftco Filet knives that are built to last. Designed in collaboration with Boker Germany, Aftco knives feature 4116 German stainless steel bonded with titanium nitride to ensure optimum corrosion resistance and exceptional edge retention. A non-slip TPR handle maintains a firm grip when processing game fish. Premium in every sense, Aftco fillet knives are available in multiple length options to provide the right tool that gets the job done season after season. Fillet knives from Aftco. Any fish, any water. Great fishing is what Seaforth Sports Fishing in Mission Bay is all about. With free parking and fully stocked tackle shop, Seaforth Sport Fishing is a favorite among anglers. Come aboard top boats like the Aztec, Cortez, Endeavor, Apollo, Outer Limits, Elgato Doe, Pride, Polaris Supreme, Tribute, Pacifica, Pacific Voyager, and the Voyager. Plus, the new Seaforth Sea Watch in San Diego offer the finest half and full day trips available. Seaforth Sport Fishing. To turn your or schedule, check SeaforthLanding.com. Run by fishermen for fishermen in Mission Bay. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup. Man, it didn't take long for those phones to get packed yeah, up. Yeah, <laughs> no kidding. And the texts are like coming through like crazy. Now, two iconic things just happened yeah. in that last commercial break. The biggest one, the very last Ranch of Leonardo spot just aired on I Let's can't Talk believe Hookup. that. How significant Officially. is that? Yeah. That I is... mean, that's, that's pretty significant. I... I mean, they're open until December 1st, but, you know... Basically, no reason to there do that. Aren't He's many... not going to. The... Yeah, come yeah, on. I mean, John's still going to call in of course. And, and give fish reports, but that was officially the last. And, 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 and of all the spots that have ever aired on Let's Talk Hookup, uh, that spot produced by Bill Corkery Productions in Mission Valley has got to be one that's, of the most memorable. That's of the most iconic for yeah. sure. I mean, there's a whole series of them, of course, yeah. not just that particular one, but a whole series of them. My start in the fishing industry, you know, before any of that was my dad and I would get up on Saturday and Sunday mornings and listen to Let's Talk Hookup. And I was a kid, you know, I, I wasn't a teenager then. Yeah. And... Uh, and I, I remember those Rancho Leonero spots then. You know, yeah. It's, it's Every, 30 years ago, he, I remember that. 35 how, years. You're like, how many hundreds of people talk, tell me, it's like, God, I hear those Rancho Leonero commercials, and it just like, makes me want to go. It does. Like, yeah. and, and, and the <laughs> thing, sounds so mellow. The thing it that is, I love right? so much is when somebody would go down there for the first time, and they would come back and say, it's just like the commercial. It really is, man. <laughs> yeah, it's just it that he, he did such, did, does, always will. John does such a good job, like, just, you know, producing that vibe. Portraying and that, yeah, it. Yeah, it's, it's it, man. The vibe that it's, no, and it's no, it's no BS, yeah. you know, like, his mellow tone and, you know, everything on those commercials. You get down to the ranch, yeah. like, oh, yeah, okay. I get it. He is yeah, right. It is yeah, like yeah, this yeah, down yeah. here. So the other thing that happened in that spot break is talking about the AFCO fillet knives. Yes. The Boker stainless steel AFCO. Afco fillet knives. And you inform me there's a deal on those at Tackle Day? Yep. Um, Aftco is a big part of Tackle Day. They're a big part of our store. Oh, I mean, Aftco's all the way the back from Milt Shed and then, you know, watching Bill come in to, you know, take the reins and expand into the, the um, outerwear and the amazing clothing that they've come up with, you know, nationwide, worldwide. It's not just a local little company anymore. And um, they came up with these fillet knives. And I think they have five sizes, plus they have this really cool knife holder. And so we're giving $20 off on any Aftco fillet knife. And you guys should really check them out. It's a, it's a, we, we haven't ever put that many fillet knives in. I mean, it used to just be four shirts, and that's what all the crew members use. But these have definitely taken the great. They earned yeah. earn their spot. Um, yeah. And so, uh, you know, that, you know, just, just about every commercial that you play today is probably going to be a tackle day, but yeah. that's one of them. And uh, so, yeah, if you were looking to get a nice fillet knife for the boat, for a Christmas present, whatever, um, that'd be a good time to get 20 bucks one. off. Just yeah. significant. Yeah. Just since we're on the subject of AFCO, and, you know, you talked about AFCO Psycho Floros, buy one, get one free, and the fillet knives at, at, at 20 bucks off. The other couple of really big ones would be... Uh, the AFCO soft goods, like all their bags, tackle bags, real bags, duffel wow. bags, things like yeah. that. They like have, that new real bag? They have produced. Awesome. Yeah, the, the real bag, um, they've, they've got so many different. They're like the new company of making the best. Yeah, the best bags. The best bags, yeah. yeah. All of them 35% off. What? Yep. Wow. Yeah, you know, we did pull just out. For a, just for tackle day. Yes, just for tackle day. day. And then, 
Um, I think everybody knows by now that we have always been a big supplier of their closeout T-shirts. No, wait, wait. You're, you're usurping here. I have a, a text <laughs> from Sean in Blossom Valley. Yes. Because we got to take our text. We got to take our calls. All right. It says, good morning, guys. Are you going to have deals on clothing like the past? <laughs> I love the $10 t-shirts, 15 bucks off killer AFCO shorts. See you guys there. Okay, Doug. Okay. okay. So <laughs> let's just, uh, I'll save the crazy one for last. But yes, um, all the clothing in the store, the first run clothing, like the shorts, like he said, fifteen dollars off. Um, Matt, our rep, is coming down on Tuesday to restock the shelves to make sure we have plenty. And then we, Aftco really doesn't have um, the closeout T-shirts like they once did because there's so much into the the technical gear and all that kind of thing. They still have some killer T-shirts, but um, we used to buy them by the hundreds. Anyway. We do, we went in our back room. And it's like you know we've got like three hundred t-shirts left. Let's just do three dollars and ninety nine cents. What? <laughs> yes. So if you for Afco t-shirts? Yeah. So come on. So I told if you it'll be the best one ever. So dude. if you're going on a ten day trip and you want a new t- t-shirt. Every day, bring forty bucks. Wow! <laughs> yeah, you can you can you can have a new Afco shirt on can, every day. You can ditch it overboard if you need to. It's cheaper than washing them. No laundry here. <laughs> Holy mackerel! Three ninety nine. Yep. Wow. And for for basically really quality, high quality for an Afco, Afco t-shirt. Well, yeah, it's an Afco fishing shirt. They, I think they sold for like twenty five bucks. Yeah, you know? it's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Hey. His ears must have been burning. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let's head south down to Rancho Leonero. Talk to our buddy John Ireland. Buenos dias, John. Good morning, P. Hello, Rex. Hi, Doug. Good hey, morning. John. Did Good you morning. hear us talking Buenos about you? Dias. Buenos dias. Well, you know, it's the weather just changed after our little hurricane. It's really, really cool down. Really, really nice weather right now, guys. Highs are in the low 80s, clear skies, uh, uh, water's cooled a little bit too. It dropped about five degrees. We're down to eighty-five degrees, and uh, boy, this uh, this hurricane sure didn't hurt the fishing at all. Fishing's really good, um, and it's really been all about Dorado and uh, yellowfin. That's been the name of the game. Um, right out in front, I'm looking out right now. I'm in the hotel office, and uh, and there's got to be fifty boats piled up about uh, two miles right off the front. And literally everybody's limiting on uh, Dorado. Everybody's limiting on Dorado. And uh, some nice fish. You know, that fish are running between 10 and 15 pounds. And, and then some big bulls mixed in, too. <clears throat> People are doing because they literally are, are limiting within an hour or two hours. You know, we're having boats that are going out at 7 and coming in back in at 9.30, believe, believe it or not, and loaded up. So now the anglers are releasing a lot of the smaller fish, keeping the bigger fish, but literally limits for everybody. They're catching them on squid right in the same area um, and, and a red-hot bite for sure. And then, and that's just kind of a little north of us off of uh, Buena Vista and then south off of La Rivera, off the banks, they're, uh, they're picking up nice, nice yellowfin, uh, you know, some to 60, 70 pounds, but uh, a lot in the 20 to 30 pound range, too. Again, on chunk squid, most everything is being taken on that chunk bait. But uh, real, real good yellowfin and uh, and Dorado fishing, that's for sure. A lot of bottom fish, pop, Papano, Pargo being taken. Um, I got the Blizzard B results as well. The biggest fish was uh, 501 pounds, and that was taken. Uh, uh, second day of the tournament, Friday, and uh, the first day, uh, 396 came in, and those were the two qualifying fish. You know, and, and what I found really interesting, I was looking at it, normally in the release category, right, there's well over 100 boats. I'm not sure how many are out, going out there of the There were 211, Disney. I think. Unbelievable. But you know what's the most unbelievable, Pete, is uh, in the release division, right, not one striped marlin, not one sailfish was released there. So Obviously, unreal. just none around at the so moment hard. for whatever reason. Normally, there's hundreds released, yeah. right? Thousands. When 200 when two hundred boats are going out for three days, that's 600 boat days. You can imagine how many stripers would normally get released, but not, not one, not one sailfish either. I know I'm not supposed to talk about the fish we're not catching, but I just That's, thought it was really... No, it's significant because where'd they go? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Are they on Mag Bay? Yeah. I don't know whether the guys on Mag Bay are even getting them. 
Yeah. Oh, they'll be back. You know, there's so many, yeah. and that's what's amazing because there's normally just so many of them around, right? You just have absolutely none. You wonder what the heck, where did they go? Maybe yeah. they're coming to San Diego. Yeah, maybe. But they're, <laughs> they're around. They're around. Yeah. Hey, John, we, we talked just before you called in about the a significant happening here on Let's Talk Hookup. The very last. Rancho Leonero spot just ran on Let's Talk Hookup because uh, this is the end of October and and uh, we decided to just kind of let them go at the end of October here. But that was a that was a big deal. We talked about how amazing those spots that Bill Corkery and you produced together, and uh, we're going to miss those spots <laughs> yeah. because they're certainly yeah. by far the most uh, the most listened to and significant spot that ever aired on Let's Talk Hookup. Wow, thanks, Pete. Well, you can, Bill Cork, we had an awful lot to do with that, I'll tell you. That's for sure. We had fun and, in the commercial break sharing memories and talking about it and, you know, just thinking about all those commercials over the years. And I, I can't tell you, John, how many Fred Hall shows and just places we've been where people come up saying, I love listening to those commercials. You know, every time I hear John, you know, that mellow guitar talking about the ranch, it's my favorite place and it makes me feel like I'm there. And we just had a lot of fun thinking about it. It was a, it was a pretty special deal there. For sure. Yeah, and, thanks, but you're you know, still going to be calling in reports till you close at the end of uh, November, right? Absolutely. And if you'll let me, I'll call in every once in a while after, too, Pete. Sure, why not? <laughs> yeah, we got we, a, we have our Baja reporter, yeah, you know. For sure. If you have me, sure, I'd be happy to do it. Yeah, you know, I, I look back, and you know, in the early days, really, when I used to drive the, uh, the quad all the way up to Buena Vista and, and bribe the phone operator so I could call you guys both Saturday and Sunday for years, right? It's been a it's been a long haul, huh? Forty years, guys. Yeah, That's man. Amazing. It's been wow. a long haul. Wow. And of course, you'll be here in the middle of uh, November in the studio with Rick and myself, uh, talking some good memories and uh, nearing the end of the uh, the big event, uh, uh, the close, uh, the, the the transition of Rancho Leonel Show. We call it. But in the meantime, <laughs> there's still a month to get down there and go fishing. And it sounds like fishing's really good. How do we get a hold of you? Thanks, Pete. Not just the fishing's good. The weather's just so excellent. It's, uh, I'm looking at it right now, and it looks like an ice rink. It's so flat, the water. Oh. It's beautiful. It's 800-646-2252 or RanchoLanero.com. All right. Awesome. Thanks, John. We'll appreciate that. We'll talk to you next Sunday. It sure will. Look forward to it, gentlemen. Right, Thank you. Hey, phones are packed. They want to talk to Doug. Let's jump into it. You got that, buddy. Why don't we do just that? And let's talk to John. He's calling us from Escondido this morning. Hi, John. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Hey, gentlemen. Morning, well, this John. is John from Escondido via, via Amsterdam. So I am in Europe listening to your show like it's clear as like I was standing out front. No, nice. uh, Let's Talk Hookup. I'm uh, sorry. That, on the Let's Talk Hookup app, brother. It, uh, I listened to the show yesterday. And, uh, on, uh, uh, later in the day when we got here, but, uh, we just, uh, my wife Cindy was giving me a hard time. She's like, really? We're on vacation. And I'm like, I know, but I got to call her, you know? And so well, I'm, I'm bummed that I'm not going to be there next weekend. And st- I, I will for sure. It, uh, how's Dallas and, uh, and, and everything going, uh, Ricky? Yeah, every- Everything's good, buddy. We're on the countdown now. Everything's good. Yeah, it, uh, sorry I won't be there at the uh, uh, tackle day, man, but uh sounds awesome. I'll, I'll have to come in and just pay a uh, regular price uh, for everything. But uh, you guys have a uh, great show and uh, just uh, had to report in. That's cool. Thanks, All right. John. Thanks, Enjoy it. Have your a vacation. great trip. Yeah, you know, for sure. Pete, Pete, you had mentioned before. Right. Uh, I'll be back in a couple you, weeks. John, you had mentioned uh, Mag Bay, and, uh, you know, we have uh, one of our really good customers and buddy, Billy uh Billy T from the flat out, you know, who's most famous for running the trout ponds over o- over sure. the years. But uh, their um, operation is down at Mag Bay, and they were having really good fishing. Fifty fish days on on Stry Mar- Stry Mar- Yeah, yeah. He had, okay. he had just, you know, I, I've been texting back and forth. That's with who them. they are. Yeah, we've been texting back and forth. That Starlink is so crazy. It's so crazy. Good. They're at Mag Bay, and I mean, you'd talk on a regular cell phone call like it was nothing. You know, yeah. thir- however far offshore, whatever they're doing. But yeah, great. You know, they're just having that like. Crazy good fall variety fishing, you would hope. Big Dorado schools, uh, experience the same grade of yellowfin tuna you guys had on the Shogun, that really nice 30, 40 pound tuna. Um, and then, you know, 50 fish marlin days, and it just sounded, it sounded like what the fall at Mag Bay is supposed to be. Starlink has changed everybody's lives on long range boats. The, on the Shogun, the first two days it was down. Oh. And, and the crew, the captain, everybody was walking around like so depressed, right? I don't know. Couldn't if be, maybe that was a good thing. I, 
Uh, you're well, supposed to go fishing kind of a, It was a good thing because I remember the days, you know, you were gone. It didn't yes. matter. But today we're so it, – oh, once, yeah. it, once it popped back up, no. everybody was back on their phones oh, and their yeah. devices and everything oh, like that. It was, it was pretty funny. I know. I loved it's it. Kind of, it's that kind of almost sad but fu- funny, right? I loved it because I was getting – yeah, I mean, straight text, text message text. updates from Pete. You know, yeah. Hey, man, how's it going? I, you know, I, I'd send him a, a message like, how's it going? And like two minutes later, oh, it's really good. We got a bunch of elephant. We had one on the popper. Yeah. And you know, it's just like, like yeah. I mean, it's live, like from the boat. You know, I felt like I was, it was pretty amazing. It was, it was yeah. we're, we're connected, right? It's pretty cool. Yeah. Hey, uh, another great text here uh, from uh, the Let's Talk Hookup app. The only place you can text here is from Norman in San Diego. He, <laughs> I, I had to laugh at this one. <laughs> Hi, Doug. Hi, guys. Doug is always interesting and informative guest, and I always look forward to the question from his Montebello colleague. <laughs> when he's on, I've always wondered about the durability and lifetime of Spectra. How often should you replace Spectra on reels? What are key stresses and strains affecting how long the line stays viable? I think question. an excellent question. Yeah. It is. Um, in the very, very early years, of course, you had to change your mono on the trip maybe multiple right. times. Uh-huh. <clears throat> and when we started using Spectra, it started becoming apparent that it uh, it lasted a long time, but we didn't have a history on it. Um, but the, as the first decade went by, some guys still had their original Spectra on there and it was holding up just fine. So what you have to watch for is if you start seeing any little microfibers, little frays, you know, if you feel when your line is going out a little, you know, bump, um, if it's uh, starting to smell a little rotten, um, you know, then you can think about changing it. But, it is, and you know, if you rub the bottom of the boat, get in some tangles, you've got to inspect it. Um, so you do have to, you know, that's your lifeline between you and the fish, and we all know that. But, um, you know, if it's just standard duty, um, it'll last for years for sure, and some people want to replace it uh, a little more frequently than that. We get people that'll come in that, you know, it's maybe two or three years old, they'll replace it. Some guys, you know, I mean, t- to be honest, some of my reels um, have have had line on there a decade. Um, you know, I, I do mostly local private boat style fishing. Um, but, you know, so these big bluefin will tax your line maybe a little sure. more, especially you get entangled, you rub the bottom of the boat. But certainly as long as, um, it's, you know, nothing like that's happened, you know, five years, even up to a decade like so, that. So I have a question. So will, like, Power Pro Hollow Ace or a regular Power Pro, will one last longer than the other? Will Hollow last longer or less long, uh, a shorter time? Is there is there any difference between that or no? I mean, I don't think there's been any kind of study with, you know, sample sizes and yeah. and that kind of thing. Um, you know, fishing is so different every trip, every angler. Um, and so I don't, I don't suspect there's a major difference. I mean... Both of those are going to last, you know, three, five, seven, maybe ten years. Yeah. Um, and it depends on the frequency of, of your fishing trips, the abuse that you put it through, that kind of thing. But um, it lasts a long time. We had a caller yesterday, or a texter rather, um, that, that had a great question. And, and I know it's one that doesn't have a black or white answer. And he was talking about filling up his knife jig outfit with 100-pound spectra and wanting to know if he should do solid or hollow. And, uh, I saw I heard that. You know, yeah, one of the question. one of the advantages. I don't even know if we talked about it yesterday, but one of the advantages to that is, you know, your spectra is your, your spectra. Like Doug says, it lasts kind of until there's until there's a problem with it. And you know, if you fish a ton, there you can create problems with it. You can have a sardine that you soaked a hundred yards away, and the hook got turned around backwards in its head, and you know, you wound it in and it helicoptered and it twisted up your line real bad, or you you know, you're on your private boat and you were just trolling your forty pound rig, but it was a cedar plug and it spun up. Like you can have really bad twisted spectra. Your spectra can get kind of gummy and sticky um, to the point where or when your sardine is trying to swim line off your reel, the line's not wanting to come off because it's sticking or twisting or grabbing. And, and that's when you likely would want to make a change. One of the advantages of fishing hollow is, you know, you might – you might only need to change the top hundred yards, you know, and everything else on the reel is uh, is just fine. You know, and you can make a seamless connection, big time. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that's, now, that's huge. Now it's more expensive, but yeah. you can now you're just yeah. changing that top hundred. But is yards it really that fresh line? Is it that more? Is it thicker than regular eighty, or is it the diameters are pretty close? They're 
they're very close. Yeah. Uh, and, and some manufacturers vary, and there's some variant more in hollows and solids than the other. Um, but it, it's it's not that big of a difference. Yeah. It is a difference, but it's not it's not a tremendous amount. Yeah, for sure. Okay, tackle day. Is there a deal on Power Pro on on Spectras on anything like that? Well, the biggest deal is every reel that you purchase, you're going to get ten percent off, which we do that like once every a year. Every reel. Yes, and then. For every dollar you spent on that reel, so let's say that you bought a $500 Shimano, whatever, you're going to get that many yards in free Power Pro or Spectra of your choice. Of your, it's hollow or solid. Correct. Come on. And that's a, that's a, another $100 so, worth well, of... Well, at least. More at than least. that. Yeah, like if you buy reels. a Talica, if you buy a, a, the new Talica 16A, yes. are you saying you're going to get 10% off that? Yeah. Really? It's Ten percent off. It just came out, and then you're going to get 500 plus yards and then you get of fi- spectra. Of, of, and if you happen to, of, of, w- and how much is 500 yards of hollow ace? Um, I mean, it's going to be 150, 175 bucks. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And that's that's free on top of it. On top of yeah, the so deal, you're saving 50 bucks on the reel, and then another 150 bucks on the line. Yeah. And you guys are going to wind it right that day. We by will by the experts at Fisherman's Landing. Wow. Done right, the done, done right, done tight. Now we yeah. will have two guys going sun up to sundown winding reels. And in wow. the past, we, it's possible that we've had you know we'll ask a local person, can you pick it up you know tomorrow after noon or whatever? But yeah. usually we get it done right on the spot. But we pride ourselves on getting things knocked out yeah, that day. Yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's a crazy, it's a one. busy day. You got oh, it, buddy. Yeah. Hey, when we come back, we got a lot more. Let's talk cook up coming your way, including checking in with the catch report. We're going to find out what's biting and a whole lot more. You stay tuned. It's Let's Talk Cook Up on the Mighty Year 1090 ESPN Radio and the low, Let's Talk low, Cook Up app. Low gas prices, great service, and free ice is what Summit Gasoline at the San San Diego Sports Arena is all about. For your car, truck, and especially your trailer boat, you need Summit Gasoline. The savings are substantial when you fill up at the Summit, but they don't compromise on service. No way. The great staff is attentive, friendly, and ready to help. When you pull up to the pumps, notice how clean it is, the great sound system, and of course, the low gas and diesel prices. Walk into the Summit Gasoline Bistro and check out the selection of frozen bait and chum, the the top-of-the-line Italian coffee, and so much more. Now, hear this. Get 100 pounds of ice free with a 35-gallon minimum purchase and stock up on snacks, beer, water, soda, and fishing licenses for your trip. Just when you need low gas prices most, Summit Gasoline at the Sports Arena comes to the rescue. Summit Gasoline. Low prices, friendly staff, free ice, and easy in and out with your boat and trailer at the San Diego Sports Arena. Hey, it's time to talk about great gear from Shimano. And, you know, one reel I just had experience on. On, on my trip on the Shogun was the new Talica A16. Wow. How can you improve perfection? I know. They well, did it. They did, and it took them like 20 years to do it. Yeah. But um, I've always said in my time, 42 years in this industry, the Talica is the number one best item that anybody has ever brought to market. Yeah. And it, it had a 20-year run almost, yeah. and now they have improved it. Um, there are several features. Uh, the two side plates are the same height, where right. they used to have the bigger one, bigger Making side it, plate. Making it cast much easier. It casts better. It fits in your hand better. Um, they've upgraded the drags um, so that they're smoother and stronger. Um, better free spool. In, and the free spool is what you notice the most because a lever drag reel, you don't get good free spool. Right. And this rivals a lot of, you know, the, the star drag reels yeah. out there today. So, you know, like you were just saying, you can yo-yo with that reel. You can drop your jig down and it doesn't uh, take longer to get down. It, you can cast. And, and then the, the bait casting is where it's really going to come into play. Um, to be able to get your your bait out there, so this year they've got the uh, the 12 and the 16. I suspect that they'll be working on the other models uh, as the years go by. Um, probably, you know, um, as it comes. Yeah, you never so know. So the Talica Shimano, A, I just have to imagine Talica A from Shimano now available two sizes and more to come. Yes, and. On sale at Fisherman's Landing Tackle Tackle Day. Yeah, <laughs> go get them. Yeah, yeah limited thing. supplies on that one. So if you want one, you know, get down to the shop early. Early. When it comes to fishing rods for saltwater, there's just one name you need to know: Calstar. Take for example the Graphiter series. It's a true graphite and fiberglass composite rod, the finest that's ever been built. And for anglers seeking traditional performance, durability, and quality at an affordable price, the Calstar West Coast series of rods and blanks are the ones for you. Their master craftsmen bring decades of rod 
bodybuilding experience to every rod they make. So if you want your fishing rods to be truly state-of-the-art, I always recommend CalStar at fine tackle stores everywhere. It's time for the Power Pro 30-second seminar. I like catching big fish, and I like smaller reels, too. How do I make sure that I have the capacity to land the big one? I fill my reels with Power Pro Max Quattro. It's 25% thinner than standard Power Pro, so you get more line on that small reel. Power Pro has a complete series of highly effective lines, including the brand new Power Pro Depth Hunter Offshore with different colors every 100 feet. Perfect for flat fall fishing. Want to learn more? Check PowerPro.com. Saturday, November 4th is Tackle Day at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego. Come see seminars by saltwater tackle experts, great deals on tackle from Shimano, like Terramar Rods with TC4 Blank Construction. Tackle Day at Fisherman's Landing, Saturday, November 4th. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup. Having a great time here this morning. Phone lines are absolutely packed. One line available, 213-432-1090. As promised, it's time for the catch report. Hey, man, you filled up lately? Then you know gas prices are way up. So now more than ever, you need Summit Gasoline at the San Diego Sports Arena. Pull up to the expanded Summit Gasoline and get their low, low gas prices on gas, diesel, uh, for your car, for your truck, and for your trailer boat. Now they can accommodate 24 cars and trucks to fuel at the same time, plus they have 12 diesel pumps. It's a huge pull-through, easy turnaround if you're pulling your boat trailer. Uh, super tall, real easy, even if a boat that's got a fold tower or whatever. There's nothing like Summit Gasoline. They're so accommodating to us private boaters. And free ice. <laughs> it's so I rad. Mean, like, talking about it with the guys on the Shogun that were driving with their fish home, and it's like, just stop just at stop Summit. Summit. Yeah, real. Up, man. Yeah, uh, they've also got the Bistro. It's full of everything you need if you're going to go for a day on the water. Again, Pete, you nailed it. 100 pounds pounds of free ice when you're grabbing 35 gallons or more. Say hi to Martha and their friendly staff. It's Summit Gasoline free ice for all Let's Talk Hookup listeners and the lowest prices at the San Diego Sports Arena. We're going to head up to Dana War Sport Fishing. Talk to the man, Captain Brian Willie's on the line right now. What up, Willie? Hey, good morning, guys. How you doing this morning? We're doing good, buddy. How are you? Good, man. Good, good. Things are clicking up here. So, you know, a little mellow, as you'd kind of imagine, for, for this time of the year as far as passenger loads and whatnot. But we're still busy. You know, it's a just a different busy. Um, for us here, you know, like I said, kind of a mellow scene with the water temps here. They were like 66 to 68 degrees. And with that being said, you know, the bass fishing, bass fishing for the most part was just kind of status quo is what it has been the last couple of weeks. So fish... Uh, on the fly line baits, on the days that the conditions were kind of lined up, but most of the week it was sliding sinker setups, uh, Carolina rigs, or guys fishing down at the bottom with a reverse dropper loop type deal. Uh, good, good sheephead on the exotic baits like the clam and the shrimp. We have a lot of regulars that like to bring that stuff to target those fish, and then other usual suspects like the sculpin white fish went in the bags for our half day guys this week. Uh, Three quarter day. Uh, I'd say primarily we're targeting rockfish right now, both uh, down the coast there, uh, south of our harbor, below our harbor there, off of uh, San Onofre and Camp Pendleton. Seen some nice mixed fish down there for those efforts. Uh, solid 10 fish uh, limits, I I'd say, was pretty standard for these guys with uh, the Reds grouper. Seen a lot of nice chilies and some big white fish down in those zones. And a day or two, uh, when we've gotten our fill of those uh, rockfish, we've been able to kind of poke out off the beach a little bit. You know, there was an interesting zone with the chloro and the water temp not too far off the beach this week, right off that Camp Pendleton zone that did have some good life in it and uh, some tuna in there. We we got out there one day and found a nice spot of dolphin that had a whole bunch of fish on it. It wasn't really wanting to bite, but we, uh, you know, managed to fish here and there on some of that stuff. So still viable. It's still, gosh, it just seems like that bluefin's all over the place, you know, so we're, we're we're not running trips specifically targeting it, but it's definitely you know in play after we you know we catch some of that rockfish and get out there in those zones. And then for the offshore scene, you know the Fury, he had a, a fantastic week. Marcus has had a really good week out there. The first part of the week, he saw epic mixed tuna fishing with some very respectable grade of fish that thirty to forty pound yellowfin, uh, bluefin in that same same size range. A few mahi, some of that skipjack is. You know, your boats are catching down that way. You know, as the week played out, you know, the weather was a factor the last couple of days. But uh, other than that, it has been very good fishing. He does have an open party trip <clears throat> leaving Thursday night with some room. If someone wants to hop on a trip there, certainly uh, give that a thought. And then finally, uh, this has been kind of fun for our guys. We've been running some hoop net charters on the uh, Real Fun. It's all charter only, and they've been doing really well. Uh, one night this week, they had... 
30, I think, 30 keeper lobster and plenty of uh, shorts, Whoa, you know, the sort dude. of fruit to uh, keep it viable. So it's, it's charter only, I think it's like a thousand bucks. It's pretty affordable. You know, you get 10 year buds on the real fun. Everything's provided uh, other than your, you know, you need to have your fishing license and your lobster report card, but all the hoops, How bait, fun is that? you know, you want to buy a burger. I mean, yeah, what's a hundred bucks? You know, that's like a fun coupon. You want to go that's out and like do anything lobster, anywhere. That's like one lobster. Yeah, for real. Right? <laughs> your money ahead right. on these so, trips. Yeah, so it's been a good time for those guys, and it's something fun to do, you know, relax and wine at the end of the night. I think the trips run from, like, 6 to 10 or something like that, so it's pretty pretty manageable hours if you wanted to throw that in the mix there. So call the landing office. Like I said, that's not open party. That's charter only, but uh, they've been staying pretty busy with that, and it's been pretty fun. So you guys want to hop on a trip local, offshore, give us a call here at number 949-496-5794. Of course, you can link us there as well through the Let's Talk Hook Up page. Check us out at danwarf.com. Awesome. Well, a great report as always, Willie. Thanks for uh, making it so complete. Glad to hear fish are still biting in that zone. And, man, we're just going to keep it rolling. Looking forward to next week. We're definitely, we got a fun, we're crew tripping it on, on the Fury on uh, oh, when, Thursday. So, yeah, we leave Wednesday night. That'll be cool. We'll report on that next week. See how that goes. Excellent. Uh, so, I, I only right want to hear guys. about the shenanigans. I don't even care about the yeah. report. <laughs> right. Have, have fun, you guys. Roger. That's cool. Thanks, right. Willie. Thanks, guys. Appreciate yeah. that very much. Hey, let's continue a little bonus to our catch report. We got Captain Mike Pritchard of the Tributes on the line. And, Mike, you promised that you were going to give us a, a wrap-up if those fish continue to bite. And so I was excited to see uh, excited to see you on the line there. You guys must have put in a day yesterday. You know what? It, it was good. It uh, it got pretty darn good in the afternoon. We we started off really good yesterday with um, our, our Yellowfin when we called in. We had a, a Dorado kill up after that. We picked up 26 Dorado. And then we... Uh, wandered um, into the east a little bit from where we were. We had a sonar uh, school of yellowfin that bit for, I don't know, probably three and a half or four hours right in the dark, actually after dark a little bit. So. And they're, you know what, it, it's, it's funny because they're, this time of year you see a lot of, you know, your fall yellowfin being 12, 15 pounds or whatever. These things are like 25 to 50 pounds. They're, they're slugs. That's... They are, we, like, we had guys stop fishing. I mean, we had some choppy weather, which, is thankfully going to change, but we had, uh, I mean, just solid fishing for, for about three and a half hours, and guys would get two or three of them, and they'd sit down, I'm like, hey, man, no, 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 you, you get back up there. <laughs> you're, you're not done yet. <laughs> That's great. That's so, so Wow. We we ended up uh, in our uh, day and a half trip with uh, 72 of those big yellow fin. Oh, um, man, how cool. We had four, four blue fin mixed in, 26 Serato, a handful of skipjack. But, I mean, it was uh, it, it was pretty legit. Like, it's, you know, it, the, the nice thing with those, I know some guys are like, well, you know, we want a blue fin. I'm like, there, why? You can keep oh, five yeah, of these no things. They're, they're, they're just as big, if not bigger. And, you know, they, we had really fun fishing. It, it was It was good. Yeah. And, hey, hey, Mike, there's always the big controversy. What pulls harder, a 50-pound bluefin or a 50-pound yellowfin? There's no controversy. You know what? I'll, I'll tell you what. I, I rod and reeled one. I handed a bunch off yesterday, and I, I wanted to get one for the guys at Pete the Port. And I did hook it on a nine-foot rod, which I don't know why we're handing off that thing, using it as a hook-and-hand rod, because I didn't, I didn't really enjoy it after about 20 minutes. And it got to a point where I'm like, I go, why, why am I doing this? Like, they... You know, we, we were talking about it yesterday. You get some of these jig strikes on uh, on dolphin, and you're trying to get the fish in to run back up to the pot of dolphin, and they they don't come in. No, they, um, I mean, there's no controversy. They pull harder, right? Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. Yeah. They, we, you know, I, uh, there was a couple of regulars that were on the boat yesterday, and they, they said the same thing. They're like, I don't know whoever said, you know, bluefin this size pull harder, but they they're butt kickers, man. And we had choppy uh, weather. It was six to eight foot in the afternoon and then you combine that with everything else and our, our people are champs um some of the guys and that's something that we do uh, especially this time of year like we got in here this morning and i said you know we have a really light load tonight really light we're uh, eight guys eight guys on tonight's pete's point sponsor trip oh yeah we, we, we go <laughs> and, and you know what the weather this week looks fantastic so if somebody wants to get on that trip tonight or any of the trips this week aboard the tribute at c4 sport fishing how do we do it mike yeah a little bit of east wind and like, like i told the guys this morning i said if you guys want to rewrite it's half off so we do have a couple of guys coming back out which but you know it might be a secret don't tell anybody but sometimes we do that when we have a light load the next day but Seaforth Landing, 619-224-3383. You can book through 
Q4thLanding.com, TributeSportFishing.com. Uh, we also have an Akuma sponsor trip leaving Wednesday night, uh, coming back Friday morning. That's got plenty of room. But look, look at our Facebook and our uh, Instagram. Like these, these are not small yellowfin. They're it's not small stuff, dorado. Yeah. These, these are. This is the real deal. I mean, this is stuff you see at uh, you know the south end of Guadalupe. Yeah, that's so. awesome. <laughs> thanks, Mike. What a Great trip, to Mike. hear from Keep you. Going. Congratulations. Keep getting them. Yeah, dude. Into November all right, thanks, here. Guys. Yeah, all right. Thanks. Appreciate it. Hey, when we come back, we got more Let's Talk Hookup coming your way. Another full hour. You stay tuned. It's Let's Talk Hookup on the Mightier 1090 ESPN Radio. Don't forget the 2024 Bill Varney CCA calendar. It's available right now. You can get it at your local tackle shops, the landings. It's loaded with those great photos, information, and the best of tide charts. We got more Let's Talk Hookup on the Mightier 1090 and ESPN Radio. The Let's Talk Hookup app. If you're into saltwater fishing, listen to this. Saturday, November 4th, it's Tackle Day at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego. Hi, this is Doug Kern. We are pulling out all the stops on this one. Over 20 manufacturers reps like Shimano and PowerPro. Check it out. All the Shimano and PowerPro product we have, like the new Talica 12 and 16 AA series. Backed by popular demand, the Shimano Tranks Casting Contest. Cast a Shimano Tranks 500 and Shimano Terramar 90H rod and show your surface iron cast skill. You'll see Shimano Terramar is the perfect rod to handle tough fish. The secret is TC4 blank construction. Match your Shimano Terramar rod with a Shimano Tranks 500 reel. Shimano's X-Ship and HEG technologies in the Shimano Tranks combine to provide the massive cranking power with a smooth and effortless retrieve. It's our biggest sale of the year, Tackle Day at Fisherman's Landing. Unbelievable pricing on tackle, clothing, and accessories. Saturday, November 4th. There are moments that change our perception of what is and isn't possible. Cosmic shifts where the stars align with the earth to alter how we see the world. The release of King Tide is one of those moments. This is the crowning achievement of Costa's 40-year legacy on the water. The culmination of every innovation and lessons learned up until this point. Wins and losses and highs and lows have brought us here to stand witness to a legacy brought to life. To achieve the ultimate potential on the water. Costa King Tide. Rule the water. Hey, we're so lucky here in San Diego. We have fantastic weather and great fishing. We also have three great shops to take care of anglers. Hi, this is Ben, and you will see me at my dad's shop, Dana Landing in Mission Bay. We call it the one-stop shop for a great day on the water because it truly is. Food, bait, tackle, beverages, and more. Our tackle shop, headed by Johnny, is certainly one of the best. We have you covered from bay bass to big tuna. Plus, we have Doug, one of the finest reel repair guys around. For fresh water tackle nothing beats east county bait and tackle jeet and the guys have the best strata reels the hottest lures and live bait our newest shop is lemon grove bait and tackle growing their stock of both fresh and saltwater tackle right in the heart of lemon grove ecbt is at the end of the 67 freeway on maple view and lakeside lemon grove bait and tackle 94 to broadway in lemon grove and dana landing is next to the dana lawn tramp in mission bay check danalanding.com for more details the state-of-the-art long-range sport fishing vessel, the Independence, delivers the top quality, comfort, and fishability you look for in a long-range boat. Veteran captains Mark Pisano and Paul Strasser built this incredible 112-foot vessel with the most modern technology and luxurious comfort available. Once you go on the Independence, you'll be back. Call Independence Sports Fishing at 619-226-6006 or check independencesportfishing.com. Yeah. 